you guys got the spring cam, this doorbell three, we're gonna install. Go ahead and unbox it. Okay, here's all the parts. Comes with the USB charger, screwdriver. Here's the camera, and here's the indoor cam. Here is the mounting screws and the extensions for the doorbell. Extension okay, go ahead and start uh, the process of getting the batteries charged up. Okay, we're actually gonna take this and remove the face plate here. So you just kind of take your, your nail or a little screwdriver, just pop that off, just like that. And now we're gonna remove the battery pack here. Just pops it out by pushing on it. Okay, and then this gets removed. Now, we're gonna charge this up with this. Now just go plug this into the wall. Once this is fully charged, that red light will go off. Orange or red. Okay, now once the battery's charged up, slap it back in there. Okay, what I did now is just take this old doorbell off and the amperage is low enough, it's not gonna shock you. So uh, they recommend turning it off at the breaker. So go ahead and do that, that's the manufacturer's recommendations. So just pull this old doorbell off and I put the new battery, put the new battery in this ring cam here, right up there, it gave me an audible that says, hey, your ring cam is now in setup mode. So all I'm gonna do now is just hook these wires up to the back there. I charge the battery up. Uh, for a few hours and it's, it's good to go. So now it's just time to put Okay, I just wanted to test it out and make sure this thing is working. It's working just fine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install the, uh, the wedge in there and, and get that mounted and then uh, get this thing set up. Um, one of the great things is this comes along with the, uh, with the extension wires. And so a lot of times when you get these, uh, there's only a tiny bit sticking out and it's hard to get enough length on this wire. In this case, I think we're gonna be able to do it with this. We'll see, but if not, I'll just hook these up. Super easy, there's the wire nuts for it too. And it doesn't matter, red and white, it doesn't matter. All we're doing with this is just completing the circuit. So it doesn't matter which one you hook up to which pole. Same with this, so you just hook up those wires. And then this end goes to the cam. This bag has our mounting screws, and we're gonna go ahead and use those. So this one comes uh, equipped with, we're gonna put it in drywall cement. In this case, it's just, just wood, so we're just going to use these wood screws to you know. Okay, so we know we want this thing to face that way. So we're going to come up here. This side goes out, not like this. I don't like this, because we're going to put the uh, ring up to you know, screw that into the cover here. In this wedge. We got one screw in there. Put the other one in right now. Now that we've got that on there, now it's time to hook the wires back in. Okay, here's the four screws that we're going to use for the mounting. Okay, then we've got the screws mounted in here to the wedge. And then this thing, the circle in white, there's a yellow button that we pushed right in there too. To get it linked up, there's a yellow button right in there. And then under here was the uh, security, the security screw. And that needs to go in. That's, that gets installed with that special wrench that you get. Now you just get it all linked up with your phone. 